Okay, so again we have three vectors. It looks like u1 and u3 are already going to be orthogonal. So it's really just a u2 that's going to be a bit of a a bit of a pain here. So that's that I mean that's kind of nice. So at least two of them are orthogonal already. Um, but let's go through the procedure the, the way that the students are probably going to solve this. So they're probably going to say, okay, well, let's, uh, let's let uh, v1 be equal to u1, which is 1, 2, and 0. And let's take our second vector to be u2 minus the projection of u2. Two onto v1. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it correctly this time zone. <laughs> um, so we take 8, 1, negative 6, and we subtract. We need a u2 dot v1 over v1 dot v1. And we need to multiply that by v1, right? Not u2. <laughs> Not u2. Okay. So let me take 8, 1, negative 6, and the dot product of v1 and u2, v1 and u2. So 8 and plus 2 plus 0 over v1, v1, which is 1 plus 4. Okay, please everybody sanity check me to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. So this should be 10 over 5, which is 2. So we need to subtract 2, 4, 0 from this vector. So that means the final vector we should get is 6, negative 3, negative 6. Is this vector orthogonal with the first one? I think so. I think sanity check passes. I love the competitiveness, the competitive nature of the QEDs. There's something about that that makes me very happy. Yarp, yarp. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So that means our third vector should be defined to be u3 minus the projection of u3 onto v1 minus the projection of u3 onto v2 u3 is 0, 0, 1. This projection is u3 dot v1, v1 dot v1, and v1 is 1, 2, 0. Okay, here we need u3 dot v2 over v2 dot v2. And v2 we just found as 6, negative 3, negative 6. Okay, so we get 0, 0, 1. I suspect that these dot products will probably end up being 0, right? So 0, 0. So we're really just looking at the third component. Uh, maybe not, actually, right? Maybe not. So certainly for v1 and u3, this is 0. But I think for u3 and v2, we will get negative 6, right? So it should be plus 6, and then v2. So we need 36 plus 9 plus 36. Okay, so that means we have 0, 0, 1. Oh, I see, we're making an adjustment here so that we can ensure that the, yeah, the second and third need to still have that product of zero. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So what is that? What's 36, so that's 60, 72, and nine. is that 81? 36 plus 36 plus nine, so 81. So six over 81, that can be simplified, right? This is 2 over 27. Jeez. 2 over 27. 
Okay, so first component is going to be two times six over 27, two times six over 27, which is four ninths. Second component is going to be two times negative three over 27, which is negative two ninths. And third component is one plus two over 27 times negative six, which is five ninths. So let's go back and let's calculate the magnitude of all of our vectors so that we can get the orthonormal basis that we need. So right now we do have the orthogonal basis, I think. So let's calculate the magnitude so we can find orthonormal bases. So here, this magnitude is one plus four plus zero under the root, so this is root five for our second vector. So for vector V2, we have 81, right? So 36 plus nine plus 36. Okay, so it's that magnitude is nine. And then for our last vector, so for V3, we get 16, four, and 25. Please tell me that comes out to be something super nice. Uh, 20, 45, no, root 45, oh gosh. Root 45. Oh wait, we can pull a three out of that, can't we? So we can divide that by nine. So we could write this as root five over three, right? Root five over three. Okay, so we have a set of orthonormal vectors. We are gonna take our u1 or v1 and divide by root five. So we need one over root five, two over root five and zero. For our second one, we just need to divide everything by nine. So let's take six, negative three, negative six. So we need six, negative three, negative six over nine. Uh, these can be simplified, so we can divide by three. So we need two thirds, negative one over three, and negative two over three. So there's vector two. Vector three is a bit weird, isn't it? We got to divide by root five over three. So we're gonna be getting a vector that's like four root five over three, negative two root five over three, No, the root five is in the denominator, right? So if we, if we do four ninths, it's gonna be times this, right? So the root five has to go into the denominator. Woof, okay, <laughs> so it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like four over three root five, negative two over three root five, and five over three root five, I think. So this is our set of orthonormal vectors.